All right, so let's go through this. TJ Watt, 22.5 sacks, his best season. He's locked in on a big contract. Larry Ogunjobi had a very good year last year. Now he has a new three-year deal. And Cam Hayward, we know what Cam Hayward is about. He's locked in on a big contract. And now Alex Highsmith, who had 14.5 sacks last year, is locked in on a four-year, $68 million contract. So when we talk about physicality, the Steelers are taking the cake in the AFC North by far in my opinion i mean just look at the defense also minka fitzpatrick locked in on his big deal so not only do the steelers have an extremely bright present but they got an extremely bright future as well mike tomlin knows what he was doing when he built this team because we all know for a while the steelers were a one-sided team whether it's on defense or offense right the offense was great okay defense didn't line up the defense was great all right well the offense didn't line up so now we're at a point where the steelers Steelers have a very balanced roster and just an overall unit and that's more important than anything you can have all the superstars in the world but if your team isn't balanced from 1 to 53 it really doesn't mean anything right the flashy superstars can get you far but they're not going to get you all the way to the Super Bowl you need an O-line you need a D-line again just balance all around and you know the Steelers have that because Colin Coward is now saying that the Steelers are a top five roster and Colin Coward really doesn't say that many things like that about the Steelers. In fact, I'm going to make a whole nother video about the Colin Coward thing because we all know Colin Coward has been saying a lot of good things about the Steelers recently and it's very out of character and just the whole media in general, right? I made another video about that, but there's been tons of compliments and people are starting to wake up now to how great this roster is, plus the coaching, plus the pedigree of the organization. And with all the great things we're hearing about Kenny Pickett coming into camp, I mean, the sky is the limit for this team. And locking down a guy like Alex Highsmith for the next four years on top of what you already have is just, it's amazing, man. I have no words because a lot of people were like, all right, Chase Young. And I was like, well, I'd rather have Alex Highsmith get his big deal. There's a whole lot of nonsense that went on. So I'm happy it happened. I'm happy that none of the people who are like, well, he's not that much without TJ Watt. Those people didn't win because obviously the Steelers know who they're paying and why they're paying them that much money. And $68 million speaks for itself. So I'm not even going to explain how, you know, good Alex Highsmith is even without TJ Watt, right? But let me know what y'all think about Alex Highsmith getting that deal. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video though. That is it for me on this one. Peace.